Colorado lawmakers want to find new ways to protect and conserve the state's water by using tax revenues collected from sports betting every year. But the question is why the state needs more funding to continue the water projects. News 5's Peter Choi finds the answers for us tonight. It's called Proposition JJ, asking voters to decide whether to keep sports betting tax revenue and use it for future water projects. Well, right now in Colorado, if sports betting makes more than $29 million in tax revenue, the rest of the money will be refunded to casinos and sports betting operators like online betting companies. Well, let me tell you more how that works. Let's say sports betting collects $29.9 million for tax revenue. Right now in Colorado, the state is allowed to collect up to $29 million per year in tax revenue from sports betting. $900,000 will go back to casinos and sports betting operators. Sports betting companies pay a 10% tax on net proceeds. If voters pass Proposition JJ, the amount of money collected over $29 million will be spent on water projects. I talked with the Colorado Water Conservation Board about the need. Why it is important to have the extra money, you know, to move forward? If we can design a project or a process or get a community together so that we can use water to help an agricultural user and maybe benefit a rafting community and maybe even improve uh, environmental conditions in a stream length. In 2019, voters approved Proposition DD, which legalized sports betting and allowed the state to use $29 million per year to fund state water projects. And what are future water projects under consideration if passes? Those are agriculture projects, conservation and land use projects, engagement, water storage projects, and watershed health and recreation projects. The Colorado Secretary of State shows there's no organized group against the proposition. According to the state ballot information book, it says when the state collects more revenue than voters approved, it should provide refunds rather than expand a government program. And I reached out to several local casinos. Some of them have declined my interview request. If you're against Proposition JJ, I'd love to hear from you. I'm Peter Choi for News 5.